So over the past few years, I've pretty much tested every tip, trick or tool to keep my computer and in turn my mind neat and tidy. And there are 10 simple habits that I genuinely use all the time because they have truly made a difference for me. They help me use my time more effectively and stay calm knowing that my digital space is well organized and functioning smoothly. Because we all know it's not about having organized files and folders, but rather about having an organized mind and the certainty we can access whatever we need in a glimpse without losing our valuable time searching endlessly. I assume you would like to start even busy days relaxed and motivated, even when juggling many different things. You would not want to see a desktop so cluttered that it instantly dampens your mood. Because that's like walking into a messy room. Not the best way to start your day, right? So here's a quick fix that's both simple and effective. Take a moment at the end of each day to sift through the chaos on your desktop. The PDF from last week's meeting? If it served its purpose, it's time to let it go or file at its dedicated place. Right-click, delete or drag and drop to the respective project folder. And then there might be screenshots you took for a quick reminder but now barely recognize. If they are no longer needed, move them to the recycle bin. And those miscellaneous files or market reports you once thought were important? If they haven't been opened or you did not even check them once, chances are they won't be. So you might either want to trash them or move them into a suitable folder. This habit, taking no more than 10 seconds a day, can significantly cut down on your digital clutter. It's about making your desktop a reflection of a clear mind and an efficient workflow. Give it a try and feel the difference from day one. Another thing that might bother you is the need to click through a labyrinth of folders every time you need to access your projects or documents. I know from experience that corporate or also personal folder structures can be quite complex and nested, which is why it might take you a while to get to the folder where you, for example, need to access the contract you would like to review. But it only takes you a few seconds to streamline this workflow with simple folder shortcuts that you can place on your desktop or even better, on your taskbar. For instance, if you frequently access a folder for an ongoing project, right-click on that folder and choose Create Shortcut. Then move this shortcut to your desktop or move it onto your taskbar so that it pins to your quick access panel in your file explorer. But even better, at least in my opinion, is the ability to create shortcuts on your taskbar. To do that, right-click on your taskbar and go to Toolbars. Then move to New Toolbar and choose the folder you want to access. Once you select the folder, it will appear with all its subfolders in your task notification area on the right. This small action, which takes barely 10 seconds, transforms your daily workflow and will help you navigate through your documents and projects so much quicker. What will also help you to master your digital organization is the Digital Architect, a comprehensive guide I've personally written packing all my knowledge and experience into your ultimate toolkit for digital efficiency. This isn't about just organizing files. It's a complete overhaul of how you manage your digital life. From streamlined file management to best practices for handling your emails, calendar and your notes, this guide provides actionable tips that can transform your approach to digital organization. So if digital clutter has been holding you back, this guide is your solution. Dive into the digital architect and start reclaiming your time, energy and headspace today. Click the link in the description below to learn more and boost your productivity. So as I mentioned, the digital architect can also help you better manage your email inbox because I know email management can be a huge challenge. It might even be that when you open your email program, you sometimes feel like opening a box of endless tasks. So let's change that with a simple daily routine. Take 10 seconds each day to quickly review and clean out your inbox. This approach is called Inbox Zero and it aims for an empty inbox by the end of each day. I love this method and try to follow it even though I have to admit there are days when I'm not able to completely follow it through. But that's fine, the will and the approach matters. 
So to follow Inbox Hero, every email needs to be actioned. Most of your emails will be moved to their respective folders, for example, for projects, newsletters, or corporate news. And other emails, such as spam, will be deleted. No further action is required on emails where you have just been CC'd. But whenever you are directly addressed and an answer or another action is required from you, you might want to write this answer before filing the email. Or in case you don't have the time to do so right now, or it's not urgent, you should flag the email before moving it to its folder and set a suitable follow-up date to get back to the sender. This habit of maintaining a near-zero inbox not only simplifies your overall digital life, but also enhances your focus, making email management less overwhelming and more productive. By now, we've eliminated some of the major time wasters in your daily routine that contribute to computer clutter. Another common challenge you might face is difficulty locating files due to vague or inconsistent naming conventions. That's why implementing a quick file naming convention can save you from future headaches. So just take 10 seconds to name your files thoughtfully when saving them. Use clear, descriptive titles that include key details such as the project name, date and a brief description of the contents. For example, instead of saving a file as meeting notes, name it 2024 April sales meeting notes. This method makes it so much easier to search for specific files later, streamlining your workflow and reducing the clutter of poorly named files. The only thing you have to be mindful of is the file name limit in some operating systems. For some operating systems, that's around 260 characters, but even if that's not a problem, I would always recommend using crisp and simple titles that are not too wordy. Let's come to habit number five, which is about cloud storage. Nowadays, many people use this ability, but I assume that only a few know how to make best use of cloud storage and synchronization. Integrating Cloud Sync into your daily routine can significantly boost your data security and accessibility, helping you reduce the clutter on your desktop or drive. In fact, there are two things I would recommend by taking less than 10 seconds. First, set up automatic sync for your folders. This ensures that all your documents are backed up in real time, providing the peace of mind and the convenience of accessing them from any device anywhere. However, make sure to configure your settings to sync only essential data, avoiding unnecessary clutter and optimizing storage costs. And the second thing to consider when working with cloud storage is to choose which data to keep where. Meaning you could go one step further than just backing up all your files and select which files to keep only locally, which ones to store only in the cloud, and which files and folders you would like to keep on both, being synced in real time. If you just take a few seconds every now and then or already when creating a file, you can further optimize your storage and make room for just the most essential things. Even if habit number six might sound boring and unnecessary, it's more than just good practice. It's essential for ensuring your system's security and peak performance. I'm talking about keeping your software up to date. So spare just 10 seconds to initiate updates whenever you see a notification. I know this often occurs every week and can be quite annoying. In particular, if you work in a larger corporation where the IT department seems to push updates every second day, it can feel like an eternity to install. But this proactive approach prevents potential vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit and enhances your software with the latest features and improvements. Regular updates also often fix bugs that may be slowing down your system. So by making it to a habit to update your software regularly, you maintain not only the security of your data, but also ensure a smoother, a lot more efficient computing experience. Even if you're sure that your computer runs the most recent software and you have organized your files and folders properly, you might run out of storage at some point. To further delay this point of time, one thing to do is to run duplicate file checks. Having duplicate files does not only clutter your storage and slow down your computer, but it can also slow down your productivity. So better dedicate 10 seconds each week to run a quick scan for duplicate files using a third-party tool like CC Cleaner, Duplicate Cleaner or OsLogix Duplicate File Finder. These tools are designed to efficiently identify and help you remove unnecessary duplicates that eat up your valuable disk space. 
Even if this also sounds quite tedious and nerdy, it's best practice to keep an organized digital space. By eliminating redundant files, you do not only streamline your data management, but also avoid confusion over multiple versions of the same document. In addition to duplicate files, there's one place where redundant files pile up quickly. Can you guess where? Right, it's your downloads folder. Often a computer's forgotten dumping ground where junk files pile up and eat up storage space. So to keep your downloads folder clean and organized, let me show you two ways. First, you can make it a habit to spend just 10 seconds every week reviewing and cleaning out this folder. Delete old files you no longer need and move the ones you do to the appropriate folders for easier access in the future. This simple weekly routine prevents your downloads folder from becoming overwhelmingly cluttered and makes it easier to find what you need when you need it. Alternatively, you can tackle this challenge with Windows Storage Sense. This built-in feature can automate the cleaning process of your downloads folder, helping you keep it tidy without regular manual intervention. To set it up once, go to Settings, then to System and into Storage. Here you can configure Storage Sense to automatically clear out files that you haven't opened in a while. You can choose how often it cleans, what files it targets and whether to delete or move them. By enabling Storage Sense, you'll ensure your downloads folder remains manageable and your storage space is optimized without having to remember to clean it yourself. To keep your computer organized, we also need to talk about the one thing that is always there but often overlooked. It's your taskbar. When I look at colleagues or clients' screen, I often see this being neglected, very cluttered and confusing. Sometimes the taskbar is overflowing with icons or with a gazillion programs pinned to it. But I believe the taskbar is super powerful and could be used so much more efficiently by many. So next to the shortcuts that you might have established after listening to Habit 2 earlier, you might further want to streamline your taskbar. This can drastically improve your workflow and reduce visual clutter. So just spend 10 seconds pinning only your most essential applications to the taskbar or dock. Start by right-clicking on the icons of programs you use daily and select Pin to Taskbar or Keep in Dock. For everything else you use less frequently, remove them from the taskbar to keep your workspace minimal and focused. In addition, for Windows, you can select which icons should appear on the taskbar on the very right in the Notification Center. Do that by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Taskbar Settings. Under the Notification area, go to Select which icons appear on the taskbar. There you can choose the ones you would like to see and which not. In addition, you might want to move them around in the notification area with drag and drop. All this not only speeds up your access in the tools you need most, but also simplifies your visual field, helping you stay more organized and less distracted during your workday. Last, but certainly not least, let's come to a simple but very effective way to quickly navigate your way through the daily office jungle. At times, maybe you find yourself lost between too many open windows, struggling to find your way back to the desktop. So the simple solution is to master the quick shortcut to instantly clear your screen and reveal your desktop again. For Windows users, pressing the Windows key plus D minimizes all windows at once. If you press it again, all your windows will open up again. For Mac users, pressing Command and F3 or Mission Control achieves the same result. Even if this is just a simple shortcut, it can be very powerful. Now imagine that you know not only this one, but many more useful shortcuts that make your life even more efficient. And they're not even very complex to learn. So watch this video next where I show you a few more amazing keyboard shortcuts you need to know.